Hitting up the classics once again, here we have Punk Buster Blader. This deck is really, really good, really fun as well. Uh, we were playing it on stream and we had an absolute blast. This is the version of the deck we were playing. Uh, we were adjusting and sort of learning more about the deck as we were playing. We shifted to a more uh, Buster Blader heavy sort of focus with the deck. We weren't so much trying to focus on getting the fusion monster right. We were more so worrying about can we get the Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordmaster more consistently with the extra deck lock. That was sort of the intention behind the deck. Of course, it just bursts out bunk punk plays and synchro plays like it is nobody's business as well. So the deck has no shortage of win conditions and that's sort of what makes it able to compete. Again, a pure raw Buster Blader deck in this day and age is going to suffer. Uh, but this version of the deck makes it playable as well as giving it gas and a ton of alternate win cons. So we're going to show off a bunch of the really good games from the stream here. You of course have our previous video if you want to get like a deck list and a full breakdown. So there's always that. Uh, but yeah, if you are a fan of this style of content or anything else that we do in the form of our deck profiles of anything else that we do here, feel free to subscribe to catch more as it comes out. Like the video if you enjoy watching. Let's get into the gameplay. Loving it. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh. Not a terrible hand. <laughs> Literally, I say not a terrible hand. We have one engine card. <laughs> Any hand trap kills us. <laughs> we have one engine card. <laughs> oh, all right, we'll see. He simply doesn't have Ash Blossom. Yep, that's what I thought. He simply doesn't. Uh, we're gonna grab Foxy Tune, tuning the Foxy. We're gonna activate Foxy Tune here. We're going to drop our Spur Maxi because we have one of those. Why am I so stupid? You know what? He's playing Bestials. It was all part of the plan. Um. Alright. Well, I misplayed. <laughs> I thought it was asking me to choose a target. I thought it was asking me to select a discard. I forgot you select your card on resolution. I'm an absolute dumbass. You know what? We're gonna call that shaking off the rust. That is the one misplay. The one misplay that is going to happen this stream. Every other play this stream is going to be absolutely perfect. Pristine, even. Um, I really should have went for Foxy Tune. No, no, it was not a misplay. It's just a choice. Foxy Tune would have given us the Zombie Vampire, but I don't know if our opponent's playing tier limits yet, given the fact that they're playing a 60 card pale. Mayhaps giving them that would not be a good idea. Um. So we're gonna go Baldrick. Actually, you know what? The zombie vampire doesn't even matter after that mill. That mill is busted. Loving it. Alright, we're gonna go Baldrick here. Baldrick, banish Shinobi. Get summoning. Shinobi activates, resummon to the field. We've got a few options here. We've got a few options here, actually, for what we could do. Uh, we could go Axel. Bring back Gamma. Then do these two into Zombie Vampire. Oh, that's so ballsy, man. That requires the testicular fortitude of seven people. But you know what? We ball. Let's do it. Let's just have at it. You know what? If we cock ourselves, then... You know what? We have Max E active. So if he is playing tier elements and summons a bunch of cards, we're going to draw. Abs not a misplay. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. That's just it. You can't call me a liar. That's it. I will deny it. How could this play have been anything less than intentional? All right, zombie vampire. We're gonna go a vampire. Axel is a phenomenal card. It is so good. It. You know what? I like it in this deck. Not even for synchro summons. Mainly for exceed summons. Oh, he is playing Bastilles. Oh, he is. I 
I could stop him from milling a branded card. Or I could search for a bestial during my own M phase. I could of course also go like Synchron to do some like uh, Synchro plays and stuff. But no, I think summoning McNomet is going to be so much more value. I, I don't know what that song is now. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it sounds like I'm not missing out. It sounds like I'm. I sounds like I'm in a very comfortable position, not knowing what that song is. Uh, oh, the fact that we hit Axel there is so good. I don't think you all realize how good that is. Holy crap! We're simply the best at the video game. We are simply the best at the video game. I don't know what to tell you. We're gonna banish Foxy Toon. We're gonna banish. We'll banish Baldrick. Bring out the. Bring out the Chaos Ruler. Do we have any level eights left? Uh, the the Buster Dragon, but we don't have any Buster cards. So we're not gonna do that. Uh, what we're gonna do is link off into Sprite Elf, the Magnomet, and the Gamma. Get Gammon. Sprite Elf. We actually use his Magnama to search our deck during the end phase. That's so funny to me. Why can't I bring out my Gamma? Huh? Oh, him. Oh, it's him. His internet connection. Alright, we activate this. We bring out Gamma again. This shit is crazy, man. We go Baron. Baron. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we ex we assault Synchron. Uh, we banish Assault Synchron. We resummon the Chaos Ruler. Uh, we can either do Pep or Mascarina. I think Mascarina is better. I think Mascarina is better. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, we send these two. <laughs> we ball it, man. Look at that. Look at that. We even grab a Bistil at the end of the turn. We even grab a Bistil at the end of the turn. We get, we can grab the Buster Lock. Yo. What? Hold up. Um, do we grab a Baldrick or the Drissworm? I like Drissworm a lot. I think this one's fine. I kind of like Baldrick though. Maybe Baldrick would have been better because it's more proactive. Um, a single starter and I maxied myself. Let's not forget that part. I maxied myself because <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, no, I don't run any branded cards. Branded cards are really clunky. Plus, I lock you into fusion a lot of the time, and I don't really want to be dealing with that. If I'm being honest. I would simply rather not be dealing with that. Um, is there any reason as to why I don't... Like, I, I, I just let that resolve. That's fine. The activation of your cards and effects that... Can't be negated. Also, your opponent's cards effect. Uh, okay. I guess I just... Ash you. Now we need to remember uh, we cannot Baron negate any of his fusion cards. Um, we cannot Baron negate any of his fusion cards. We need to remember that. Uh, so if he just has invocation, I thought I actually checked myself a little bit when I just, as I was saying, if he has invocation, he activates a spell card. I'm not gonna lie, not a fun experience. Would not recommend. End of main. I can only imagine he's going to try and swing into Mascarina. Probably, right? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to resummon re -summon Gamma for the third time this duel. <laughs> resummon Gamma again. He's going to activate Regain to bring back a Bestial card. I'm going to chain Drissworm, banish his target so he doesn't get the resummon. In fact, what does he bring back? He brings Magnomet. I do, do I even care about that? Would I? 
I would honestly rather just max C. Yeah, I would rather just max C. Like, let him have his mag le uh, Magnomit. Let him search his deck during the end phase. Let him do all that shenanigans. I don't care. I don't care. Cross out a phenomenal draw off of a draw one. He does get to search his deck during the end phase. That is fine. End of main. Yep. End of main. We activate Mask Arena. Yes, sir. We're going to go in to Avramax. Mask and Elf. Into the big dog. The Cruceria Avramax. Uh, have I tried Sprite Goatee? I have not. Although it sounds good because all of your high level monsters you summon during your opponent's turn. So I get it. Yeah, I'm with it. I like it. Okay, setting a card. I do want to play around with the Invoker a little bit. Uh, I feel like the Invoker is in a pretty interesting spot right now. It dies to Ash, but like apart from that, you know? Deck's pretty cool. I like it. That's literally the music that's in my head every time I summon this card. It's like stuck in my head. Um, I keep Drisworm to counter his Bestial. <laughs> I just keep Drisworm to wait until he goes for like a Bestial card and then I counter Banish. Oh, never mind. We're just too good at the video game. Oh, never mind. What am I even talking about? Why am I even worried? What is going on here? We're gonna go for Baron de Fleur. Baron, get poppin'. Don't want to be dealing with Regained, if I'm being honest. Um, I know Regained... I mean, Regained is a pretty high-value target. I'm not gonna lie. That that card generates advantage. For real. Do not want to be dealing with that card. What, what card did he add to his hand? He added a Drisworm, right? He did add a Drisworm. All right. Alright, I'm going to activate my, my Drisworm then. We're going to target my Necro Shinobi. He's going to activate his Drisworm. Yep. To target my Shinobi Necro. Then I'm going to activate my Baldric <laughs> to target my Shinobi Necro. Damn, this boy is popular right now. He is loving it. He gets all the bitches. Look at this. Alright, so we banished the Necro, finally. Baldrake makes its way out. Dressworm fizzles and Dressworm fizzles. Shinobi Necro then resummons itself out to the field. There we go. Now we can use Shinobi Necro and the Chaos Ruler. Gonna go into Ching Ying. Oh, I messed up by summoning him here. I messed up big time. Oh, I messed up so bad. Oh, I'm so dumb. Damn it, man. I'm stupid. All right, whatever. It's fine. Oh, never mind. All part of the plan. Uh, <laughs> I could have, if I summoned him to the zone to the left of that, I could have linked the other two off into the Buster Whelp. Buster Whelp, send a card, and then I can synchro into the Buster Dragon, bring back my Buster Blader, and do, like, all fun stuff. Um, but no, it's, it's fine. It's good. We've just, we've fallen off. That's it. We're just, we've just fallen off. We are simply bad at the video game. I can make this hand work, but I don't like it. Uh, we're gonna go tuning. This is not a great hand, but I can make it work. I'm gonna send, or we're gonna grab Assault Synchron, sending memories to the grave. Ah. That's a nice little mill there, I'm not gonna lie. That's a nice little mill. 
That's a nice mill you've got there. Alright, we're gonna go Ziaman. Ziaman, get punkin. Punk this man. Prank him, John. We're gonna grab Foxy Tune. And activate Foxy Tune. We're not going to max C ourselves again. Like we did that first time. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. <laughs> We're gonna Deer Note. Alrighty. The Assault Synchron makes this hand a lot more powerful. Uh, we're gonna go Chaos Ruler. If we if we mill um, either a Buster Blader or the Lock, we can set up the Buster Lock. All we need to do is mill one or the other. That's it. Yeah, finally we can actually play the goddamn video game. But he's gonna have evenly matched. I fucking know it. I absolutely know he's gonna have evenly matched. And you know what? I don't even care. I don't care. We're gonna go in to the zombie vampire anyway. We're just gonna ball. We will simply ball. And there's nothing he can do about it. Ooh, Drissworm's a nice hit. Not exactly what we were looking for, but it's nice. It is not 100% what we needed, but I'm simply going to mill a Buster Blader off of the Zombie Vampire. I'm simply going to mill a, a Buster Blader. We're, he's not playing Nib. You nuts? He's not playing Nib. He's playing Branded. Brandid. Oh, we milled a Buster Blader. <laughs> Alrighty, milling a Buster Blader, that's nice. So now, we can... I can't search anything off you, as funny as that would be, I can't do it. Gonna grab back Saranir. Right, and uh, now we're gonna go... into our Buster here. We have an assaulting grave, right? Yeah, we do. All right, we do. Gonna banish this and this. I don't mind branded. I think branded's fine. I think branded's totally fine. I I enjoy playing it. I just I don't play it much, but I I do enjoy it to an extent. We're gonna send these two away. Go into our whelp. Welp activates Chain Link 1. Assault Synchron activates Chain Link 2. It'd be nice to have a Necro here, but you know what? I feel like it's given us enough where I can't really complain. You know? I feel like it's it's been nice enough with with this. Bringing out the Chaos Ruler once more. We're gonna use Protector Welp. We're gonna pitch the Dragon Buster. That's perfect. Now we will special summon the Assault Synchron. Out to the field. We will activate... Uh, no, 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 not activate, sorry. We will go into the Buster Dragon using these two. Buster Dragon in defense. Saranoir will not get milling. We're going to activate the Buster Dragon's effect. It's going to bring back the Buster Blader from the graveyard. Going to bring it back. Now we're gonna go Buster Blader and Whelp into Elf. Then Sprite Elf will bring back Assault Synchron. Uh, if he has Super Poly, then he's just that guy. Like, I don't know what you want me. I, I can't do anything about that. If he has Super Poly, he's literally just that guy. Um, Let me see. Is Chang Ying better? I don't really have a way to proactively banish anything, so I guess just Baron de Fleur is fine. Oh no, he can't! He can't go Super Poly! We have an extra deck lock! He can't even Super Poly us, that's right! Uh, I guess he could, actually. He could, couldn't he? Ah, shit. Damn it. Alright, 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 Gonna go memories. 
Um, because uh, uh, why not? Like, where else would I put it? Okay, we're gonna banish Saronir. We're gonna banish this. Literally, his like he has to have like a serious amount of cards to get past this. This is this is strong. Um, let's place. Da, da, da. You here. Bandit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's to protect our Buster Lock, and so it. So I wanted him here. I didn't play him in this column because of Mech Knights. I didn't play it in this column because of Relinquished Anima. So this is the only logical column left to summon it in. It's like it's like subconscious sort of mind games. I'm also going to maxi now, in case he has Triple Tactics talent. So now this even plays around talent. Because talent only lets you activate it if your opponent activated a monster effect during your main phase. So, like, we're playing around as much as we possibly can. If he has Super Poly, he has Super Poly. If he has Dark Ruler, he has Dark Ruler. If whatever, if he, whatever he has, if he has it, he has the out. You know, he's just that guy. Uh, but, like... You know what I mean? Like, if he has it, he has it. I, I can only do so much. This is a lot. This is a fucking board right here. I should have set cross out uh, in hindsight, but it's fine. Like, this is, this is, this is fine. This is, like, you know what I mean? Like, he has to, he has to have the out. He has to be that guy. He can't, he can't super poly anymore. So he can't because we have the buster lock. He cannot super poly. Um, he... His outs are... Dark Ruler. That's an out. That's actually an out. Oh, no, it's not. It, it's not. He can't... He can't Albal and Addis because of the extra deck lock. He can't Albal and Addis. He can't do it. I think that was his plan. He was going to elbow and add us away our Buster Dragon. He can't. Because of this. Oh, the internet's going. He threw his router out the window. His internet router is currently on fire at the bottom floor of his apartment complex. He is currently calling the police. Uh, this is not a good time. This man needs medical attention. He needs help. Oh. <laughs> it is not a good time to be in the immediate vicinity of this man. He is cracking open two cans of monster, dual wielding monsters, as he pounds the ever living shit out of his drywall. He is not happy about what has occurred on this day. This is not a good time to be whatever that says. He's on the phone to his parents. He's telling he's telling his parents about what has happened in this duel. Oh, into the battle phase. <laughs> can anyone else? Can anyone else smell the copium in the air? <laughs> Can anyone else? Is that a pipe leaking? I think there's a pipe leaking. The room is filling with copium. <laughs> it's not. I don't get <laughs> That's so toxic. It's funny how we get our ass beat like four duels in a row and then we get like one board off and suddenly we're like fucking James Bond villains. We started talking mad shit. Konami is about to give me four copies of Cypher and Driver in the sand. Yo, actually, yo, Kun apparently Konami's a goddamn masochist. They keep on giving me these goddamn hands. Do you want to do me a favor and um, Ash Blossom that? No? Alright, whatever. That's fine. Whatever, dude. Sending a Buster Blue. We're just that good at the game, man. We're just that good. Going for the Ogre Dance, dropping the Ogre Dance to the grave. We're going to grab ourselves a Xiamin. 
So the counter to the... Um, no, because he couldn't, again, because we also had the buster lock in the field, so all of his monsters are switched to defense, and their activated effects are negated. So he can't use it, he's, there's a skill drain on his board. He can't do that either. <laughs> like, his outs are exclusively uh, back row removal. So, and he would have had to have multiple, because we had Baron. And he can't do anything dino related because don't forget all of his cards are changed to dragons so dinos specifically wouldn't even work because all of his monsters aren't dinosaurs anymore kaijus would work kaijus are also an out lava golem is an out technically all things like that absolutely um imperm yeah yeah if he drew imperm and evenly then he would just be that guy yeah Oh, this is bad. Oh, we might be catching our comeuppance. This might be it. This might be the end of the road. No, it's not. Okay, so this guy's playing bestials. Matt, it's so good how you can just scout for bestials. Like, how you just know that that's what they're playing. It's an important thing to look out for, I think. Um, he's playing bestials. Well, anything that, like, has a floodgate on spell cards, um, I mean, the thing is, you can't respond to its activation, but you can negate Super Poly. You can play, if you play it in an Imperm column, it gets negated. If you play it under IO, it gets negated. And there's a bunch of ways of negating it. They just typically don't come up because you can't respond to it. So your options are rather limited. Skill drain and extra deck lock is schnasty. Uh, we're gonna go for this. So what I'm doing at the minute is I'm just trying to set myself up in a position where I can hopefully try to prevent him from disrupting our buster lock. That's all I'm aiming for right now. And uh, we are gonna summon Ziyaman, and he is probably gonna try chaining his bestial because he thinks we're dark. He has an armed Neos icon, he doesn't know how to read. Trust me, I'm a doctor. He's gonna activate his bestial because he thinks that this is a, a light or a dark. Just do it. Okay, he didn't, he didn't. All right, okay. All right, okay, all right. He's not that dumb, fair enough. Oh, Shinobi Necro, oh my God, that is disgusting. Give me a ball. Um, we're gonna grab, I guess, five, uh, I guess, Ogre Dance? I mean, I guess. Uh, I mean, I guess. Then I will Assault Synchron. Whatever he's doing, he better do it quick, because he's about to get, like, locked out. He's, I'm, I'm putting Baron on my board. So unless he has two bestials, in which case, um, well played. How do we get in the Arbuster Dragon from here though? Um, I can put up a bunch of negates, I just don't know if I can put up the Buster Dragon. Let's go for Chaos Ruler. That's fine, then Shinobi Necro will activate. We're gonna grab ourselves another Tuna. It's another Tuna. Maybe we can, oh man, we're missing a Bestial. We needed a Bestial as well. Damn it, there's more pieces to this combo than I thought there was. We needed a Bestial. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We can still go into this to set up the fusion monster, so we can. So we can still negate his dragons, uh, which is going to be good because, like, facing against a branded deck, for example, that's going to be huge. So I think we still go into this guy. Here we go with Ziaman and Chaos Ruler. Into the whelp. 
And again, we still have, of course, Maxi and our Cult by the Grave, right? Like, that's important. As well as Baron de Fleur. And we will also have a Ching Ying. Like, there's there's so many things we've got going on here. Like, we'll have Ching Ying, Baron de Fleur, called by Maxi, and a Dragonlock. It's, it has to be a Bestial. It has to be. There's no way it isn't. Surely. I mean, technically, I mean, technically, it could be something else, but I'm just trying to be realistic. Like, it, it, it has to be a biz deal. Um, do you have another level two tuner in grief? I do. All right, so we're gonna go necro and whelp into elf. Elf it up. Activate elf. Bring back the Assault Synchron. That way we get targeting protection as well. Yeah, they're like... Man. That is a little unfortunate. I'm actually... I'm actually going to negate that. I'm actually going to negate that. Yeah, I'm actually going to negate that. Just because if it's sent from the field to the grave, he gets to remove another card. So if I can send it straight to the grave from the hand, he doesn't get its removal effect. Um, so it, 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 it's slightly wasteful, but uh, I think it's worth it. I think it is worth it. We have memories here. Did I just activate memories now? Fuck it, let's just go for it. Alright, banish Uno and Dos. My nose is really bugging me for some reason. Alright, bring out the Buster Blader. Okay, so now his dragons cannot be used. So, this helps us against basically any bestial. So he can no longer activate bestials in hand, nor can he activate their effects anywhere else. Uh, he can't activate uh, Lubelion. He can't activate his fusion monsters if he's playing Branded. He can't use... I'm trying to think about other examples of cards he can't use. Again, assuming he's playing a Dragon deck, he's locked. If he's not playing a Dragon deck, then he doesn't care about this at all. Uh, we are going to tag out Baron for... Um, Punk. Uh, Deer Note. I'm going to tag out Baron for Deer Note. Probably got called by. I would imagine it's called by he's got in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm actually going to activate Maxi now. I'm so good at this game, man. Oh my god. The prediction master. I mean, Braun going back to the extra deck, I literally do not care about. Like, at all. Zero cars. On that day, no fucks were given. It's already used its negate. It's just a 3k beater to me now. I don't care. And it is branded! <laughs> <laughs> uh good luck, dork. Um, what can he play that's problematic? Like, what non-dragon monsters does he have? What non-dragons? There's Rindbrom. He can summon Rindbrom. That would be a problem. Um, he could summon... Brigrand, I'm pretty sure, is a beast. Brigrand. Or just Lobelion. Oh, just Lobelion. Never mind. He can't read. <laughs> Never mind. He can't read. <laughs> uh, 
Wait, why can't I activate? Um, oh, because of Randa lost. Yeah. Um, five five thousand eight hundred attack. All right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yes, then we wouldn't have taken the burn damage. So even if um we didn't finish him, we would have we would have at least survived. Um, uh, we'll not be doing the, the, it on this stream. No, again, the the duel rooms were. By mass sort of popularity, not very popular, so uh, we decided to scrap them. Uh, he did. I was fully expecting tier. I was not anticipating um, Numerons, and you know what? That's what you get for reading too much into the field and sleeves. You know, that's what you get. Um, add from deck to hand. We're gonna add Foxy Toon. This is a pretty solid hand. I really like this hand. I would prefer to have a Bisteel, but this is pretty good. We can drop our Necro. Summon Deer Note. Good, good, good. He's got a little something. He's got a little something over there. He's doing a little something. Right, we're gonna. So, how many summons is that? One, two, three. Assault Synchronous, four. We can do Barone in five. Keeps us safe from Nib. I don't think he's got it, but if you can play around it, why wouldn't you, right? Uh, that's fine. Chain Link one, Chaos Ruler. Chain Link two will be our Foxy Toon resummon. Because I am going to be going down the route of Zombie Vampire in this game. I've got a good feeling about the vampire. I no longer have a good feeling about the vampire. Um, nothing I can do about a dress worm. That's fine. I'm probably gonna try to go Ching Ying to banish it, rather than Baron. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go Ching Ying here in a minute. All right. Well, I guess we get to grab Gamma. I guess. Doesn't really do anything for us, but we've got it now. So that's neat. So we'll activate Assault Synchron. We can get some plays going here. We're gonna go in the Cheng Ying. Oh, he doesn't have any cards in his grave. God, I'm so dumb. I Sometimes I just don't think. <laughs> sometimes, just brain no work. Me no think. Like, it's just, it just doesn't work sometimes. Um, but you know what? We're just so good at the game that it doesn't even matter. Uh, banish the Gamma from the hand, I guess. Oops. <laughs> Alright. Uh, banish these two, bring out the Chaos Ruler. The Ruler of Chaos. Yep, Ching Ying, no banish because of the no graveyard. Definitely my mistake. Faux oh, show, but I shall not threat. Thou shalt not be a bitch. Um, uh, we could, or we could do. I only got one tuner in grave. Damn, Abyss Dragon would have hit different right now. I'm not wouldn't I wouldn't have I wouldn't have. Abyss Dragon would not be hitting different. In fact, it would not be hitting at all. I mean, I think we can chill on Baron here. I'm gonna be real. I think I I think we can just chill. Like Baron Cheng Ying, Maxi Ash. It's not the worst thing in the world. Not perfect, obviously, but you know, I've seen worse. Uh, 
let's go Enfys. Yeah, let's just do this. This is fine. I am going to go Maxi now. I just, I've been getting hit with triple tactics a lot recently. And, and this is just me playing around it. Like, that's it, honestly. I just don't like triple tactics. It doesn't guarantee that they're not going to resolve it, obviously, but it just means that it's it's less likely. Okay, so the normal summon the Merly. Can I activate? Or are you just going to go in the Elf? Or are you just going to disconnect your internet? That's also a possibility. Like, I mean, he's playing Terrellements. He, you know? That was a normal summon on the Merly. Do I, like, I, you know what? There's not a ton of good Ash targets in Tier Limits. I don't mind. I mean, if he's going to stop this, hopefully he does it with, like, Call by the Grave. That would be pretty good for us. Um, Call by the Grave would definitely work in our favor. Cult of the Grave would actually be amazing. Damn, he may actually be done this time. Now he he may genuinely be finished playing the game. Nope, he's in it. He's in it to win it. Let's see. You could link off into Elf here, which would trigger Drisworm. Or into Dark, I guess. Dark's also an option. Uh, it still triggers Drisworm to target a card and send it to the grave. We are going to, of course, Baron that. He's got a, yeah, he's got a tough old choice. This is not an easy choice. Both of these cards are super problematic for him. Especially the Ching Ying, but it's also difficult to pass up getting rid of Baron, honestly. So I, I totally get that. That's a tough choice. I'm, I'm with him there. That's a tough, tough choice. Uh, he can target our Buster Whelp in the grave. Summon it to his field. That is fine. We get to draw. I'm going to just keep drawing, baby. Like, what, um, what link do you go into? That's problematic. You can go Unicorn here, I guess. I guess. You want to give me a draw? Or Elf. Why? What? what? You, you're no further along than where you were before, and you just let me draw two cards. There was literally negative points to what you just did. Just scoop. Just leave. Just show yourself the door. Honorable Seppuku. You know where the button is, top left, big red, go for it, Chief. I, I think you've earned it. You've earned a break from this one. This was just not your game. You know, sometimes sometimes you have games, uh, and on this occasion, you just didn't. This is not your game. We're going to bring back Deer Note. Oh. You would be saddened to hear that you let me draw this because you made stupid plays. I wouldn't have had that Ash if he didn't summon. Like, that's it. I wouldn't have had it if he didn't summon a bunch of times. Alright, we got the Deer Note. We got Deer Note. Um, let's go for... Assault Synchron. Going for the Sprite Elf again. Alright. Well. Well. I might as well. We might as well. 
Uh, what do you mean? This is a busted blitter. It's a different kind of busted blitter. Trust me, I'm a doctor. You should have saw the, the massive buster lock we put on someone like two games ago. Insane. Uh, Merly get Merlin. This is the new generation of Buster Blitter. Right here. This is next gen Buster Blitter. Because it actually does stuff. Uh, regular Buster Blitter. Again, I, I love Buster Blitter. I love it. But regular Buster Blitter does absolutely nothing right now. It's just bad. <laughs> it's just bad. Which is unfortunate. I love that deck. I absolutely love it. But it's just not good. Tier Limits Crime. Getting rid of Barone again. God damn. This guy just can't find a place on the field. I would not do it on stream, Chief. Uh, but again, Discord's there for a reason. A lot of time I just spend time chilling in the, in the voice, ra uh, voice chats. Playing around. Dueling people. That'd be the place for it. Albaz, Bastille, Dogmatic, a Buster Blitter. Now that is a goddamn mouthful. Okay, gonna Mudora. I don't. I, I never understand it when people do this. They like Mudora to stop me from banishing their tier element by shuffling it back into the deck, but you still don't get to fusion summon, right? Um, yeah, it sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that actually allows me to get Banishing. Um, I don't think you fought that one through, huh? I do not think you fought that one through. Get Banished, get Banished. And then we have Lethal, right? I just Tribute over my Deer Note. For my Baldric. Activate Deer Note. Revive... Zayaman from Grave. Activating Zayaman. Search for Ogre Dance. I'll activate Ogre Dance. We'll tribute over the Zayaman. I'm pretty sure that's just lethal. Yeah, and then Zayaman but boosts up by what, 600? Yeah, you're done, though. You're done, you're done, you're done, kid. You're absolutely finished, kid. Yep. But not just any old Thunder Dragon deck. No, no, no. This is a new Thunder Dragon deck that even I haven't played yet. So, we're going to learn together. I think we played one game too many. <laughs> I think this is Master Duel's way of saying, yo, time to move it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, after this game, we're gonna be switching it up. <laughs> Thunder Dragon Mutant, absolutely. That is what we're gonna be trying to play. If it works, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If he negates this max C, I might just leave. Okay, good. Okay, good. Let's see. Uh, are you are you saying that you're not playing Maxi? Oh, okay. Fair enough. To each their own, then. I mean, the card's at 80 plus percent usage for a reason. Like, it is the best card in the game. We can stop the killback. Hopefully, stopping the killback is enough. Uh, unless if has a, if he has a tear in hand, he can still mill. Uh, but that's fine. He mills a Rhino Heart. He doesn't have another tier to discard for the Rhino Heart. Easy dubs. Love to see it. Do we have anything we want banished for next turn? Not really. Cross out we can keep for to counter a maxi. We can use the bestial baldric. Um perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
So now we can go Foxy Tune. Foxy Tune dropping the driver to get gaming. Finally. Summoning out Ziamin. That triggers Scream, but that is fine. What's he gonna mill? What you got for me, Chief? Even if he mills like a Siren or a Murley or whatever, uh, we do have the Baldrick to get Banishing, as long as he doesn't mill more than one. He, he got nothing. He hit nothing. Pay 600. We're going to add from deck to hand. We Foxy tuned to summon this, so we need to go Sharkuzai. Yeah. We need to go for the Shark. If you want, if you're looking someone to play, my advice is hop into the Discord uh, and go there. There's gonna be people willing to play there most of the time, although some of them might be in the stream. Uh, but the best place for that sort of thing is definitely the Discord. Okay, 600. We're gonna fusion summon night into Rising Carp, the card that has not yet seen play in this vi stream. This is the first time you're seeing play Rising Carp. Let's go. Rising Carp activates. We tribute the Carp to get summoning from the deck. We'll summon out a Ziyaman, followed by a Deer Note. And that sets up our play basically as if we had opened with Ziyaman. So we're right back where we started, or where we should have been. So let's Synchro Summon into the Chaos Ruler. Let's go. Out it comes. Chaos Ruler, get milling in a mill five. And then we're, our dear note's going to revive a card. We're not going into the zombie vampire this time because I'm not an idiot. I might be an idiot, but you know what? We don't need to be like that stupid right now. Um, how are we? We're, we're doing good. We're playing some punk buster blader. We're playing some mutant cards. You know, we're just having a good time. Buster blader, buster blader. All right, we hit two and, oh, and the, Oh, we got everything. Oh, we got a little bit of everything right there. Oh, oh, we got a little bit of everything right there. That is some good stuff. Kelbeck. Kelbeck. That's less than ideal. I was going to use that for the Psychic and Punisher. Yikes. Oh, that's a, that's that's very much less than ideal. Oh no. That's fine. It's fine. It's all part of the plan. It is all part of the plan. Okay, we're gonna go Baldrick here, I guess. We're gonna banish the Diviner from his graveyard. Drisworm! Also targeting his Diviner. I am going to cross out the Drisworm. You don't believe the... Alright, I guess... I, something tells me you might be right there. I, I would be inclined to agree with you on that. Because chances are, no, I won't believe it. <laughs> but we'll see. All right, uh, yeah, that hurts a little bit. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Arcana Force? What? Really? I mean, Arcana Force is cool. I'll give it that much. It's definitely cool. Alright, we're gonna go Protector Whelp. Protector Whelp is going to send uh, the Destruction Sword Memories to the Grave. Destruction Sword Memories is going to effectively shut down his Bestials. He will no longer be able to summon Bestial Monsters, um, at least through their effects. So we'll banish a Buster Blader, we banish a Baldrick. Summon out our Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. Uh, 2300 attacks, so we're not exactly large, but let's go for it. 
And the one card, sorry, Yuja, and skipping turns. Oh, I know what Arcana Force deck you're talking about. That's not an Arcana Force deck. Oh, I know what one you're talking about. Oh, that shit is toxic as hell. For anyone who doesn't know, there's an Arcana Force card called The World that essentially allows you to tribute any two monsters and your opponent skips their next turn. That's it. All you need to do is tribute two monsters and your opponent skips their entire turn. So yeah. Um, a little bit toxic. I don't even think they get to draw for turns. Sure they don't, because it skips their whole turn. I don't even think they get to draw. I may be wrong there, you'll have to tell me. Into the battle phase. Uh, I think they missed a big opportunity there. Uh, opportunity there. To get rid of my Buster Blader. I think they... Did they mess up? Oh, they're going Zeus. Never mind. They're going Zeus. That's dumb. That is a little bit... Uh, stupid. Alright. Alright. What do we top deck... To, to win the game here. What do we draw to win the game? Da, da, da. I don't even play um, Al, Al Mirage in this version. I don't even play Al Mirage in this version. Damn. GG's. Fair enough. He got it. Tier limits got it. Who would have saw that coming? Fair enough.